Hi everybody and welcome again. I have been using Waze plugins for a long time. I like them a lot and also their installer and their deals. Today I want to talk about the classic Waves limiters, the L1, L2 and L3. A few weeks ago uh, I was looking for reviews and comparisons to see the difference between them, but I haven't found much about it. So I'm going to process a uh, file with them to see the differences so you can know which one do you prefer and for what. At first, let me see what Waves says. Of L1 and uh, L2, they say nearly the same. Transparency and punch for mixing and mastering. In the L3, they focus more on mastering. So we are going to see why. Before that, I want to present you another YouTube channel from a friend of the Produce Like a Pro Academy. He is Peter Swoss from Perfect Sound Unleashed. Please take a look at his amazing channel. Hi, my name is Peter. I'm from Perfect Sounds Unleashed. Welcome to my YouTube channel. In this YouTube channel, you will find videos about me mixing and I'm going to put up videos about you. You as an individual musician and how you can prepare yourself before you go into a recording studio and of course with your whole band. I hope to see you around and for you to do so, please hit the notification a bell and subscribe to my channel so I can give you an update on when there's a new video coming out. See you around. Well, here we are with a WaveLab Pro project with the plugins ready to go. For this comparison, we are going to use my mix of the Leila cover from the Produce Like a Pro Academy. In the description below, you can see a link to the video and more information. Let's start with a quick review of the plugins. We have two versions of L1, the limiter and the ultra maximizer. The limiter version is more simple, without input controls and without dithering. For the comparison, we are going to use the more complete ultra maximizer version just for making it more accurate. We have the input control, threshold, ceiling, release, the auto-release control, and the differing section. The L2 only has one version with threshold, ceiling, release, auto-release control, and differing section. Let's go to the L3, which has four versions. The Ultra Maximizer with threshold, ceiling, release, and differing section. It's like the other ones, but here we can see a profile section. We can choose the behavior of the limiter and change the color of the sound. This is a big difference. The multi maximizer is a multiband version with linear phase crossovers to achieve uh, as much transparency as possible if we want. This one is completely different. I see it more for mastering if we want to choose different responses or maybe solve some problems. The other two versions are the low latency ones without the linear phase crossovers. For the comparison, we are going to use the ultra maximizer versions, all of them with the same configuration. At first, with a limiting of a couple of dBs and then with a little bit more to emphasize the differences. We are using the auto release mode and no differing. To use the auto release mode in L3, we have to go to the profile section. Here it is. So let's go.
What do you think? If we limit just a couple of dBs, the difference is very subtle. But if we force it more, uh, it's uh, really noticeable. L1 is a little bit warmer, L2 is more transparent, and L3 is brighter. But remember, we have different profiles for change the sound. I use the L1 limiter in my drum bus just because it's simple and uh, really quick to use. The L2 in my master bus and the L3 for mastering just because the different profiles we can choose. If I have to choose just one, maybe I choose the L2 just because it's more transparent than the L1 and easier to use than the L3. And for a couple of dBs, I don't need more. Please download the audio files and comment below. Hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't already. See you in my next video. Bye.